put a mission statement together. I've worked for a lot, a lot of companies. I've learned a lot. Again, you know, sometimes you learn what not to do, uh, but don't focus on that. Focus on what you should do. Again, the laser has to be effective. It's got to be affordable. It's got to have a fast return on on uh, on on the investment. I mean, I've uh, I, I've had so many people. I, I've talked to talked to them just recently. I was in New York doing demonstrations, and the doctor said to me, uh, it "Was he was very interesting." He said, "I said, why did you spend sixty two thousand dollars on a laser?" He said, "You know, I paid it off this year, seven years later." And, and, and it was just the most amazing story I'd ever heard. I said, why'd you do it? And he said to me, uh, well, it was effective. And plus I got, medi- I got audited by Medicare and they stopped paying me and I was forced to do this and look for uh, revenues that were not insurance. And he told me, I got my money back, but they dragged me out for two or three years. So sometimes something that negative happens to you can turn into something very positive. You've got to see uh, what's really in front of it. I always say that I'm, I, I tend to get a little bit off, but I want to finish this. Uh, it's always dark is when the sun comes up. And I was very impressed with this doctor. He purchased my Remy. Why did he purchase it? There's a, the, the, re, the reason was is because you can have the greatest technology in the world and the return on investment is not there and it's not multifunction. I don't think you can just buy a pain laser today. It's got to be multifunction. And I felt that way for years. If you ever want to read a story about, uh, I was in podiatry today, I think it was, our management talking about mobile multifunctional lasers years ago, but I finally fine tuned it the this for one thing, and that is I became a manufacturer and designer. I cut out the middleman. Every time you talk to a salesperson, there's a, a commission there. I'm giving you that commission, and the most important thing is at all times I like to talk about uh, you know practice management and how to make you successful. And whenever you, you can go next time, whenever you purchase the Remy, and if you don't purchase the Remy, if you want to talk about Southern Podiatry, you can call me up. Uh, the Remy, what's it do? It's FDA cleared. Clearance is important today. It's very important. You can, you can market at that. But it's, it's for inflammation. A lot of these lasers out there are, are for inflammation, but you have to have multiple things. Uh, we've moved on to warts. Uh, surgical, non-surgical. We're now treating. Uh, we've been treating. I've been treating laser toenails for so many years, and uh, we've developed some really good protocols. I had a podiatrist I'm talking to today, and I thought she was talking about how great the pain was, and she says, "No, I'm talking about fungus toenails. I'm getting amazing results." Now, what did I think? I'm very skeptical about treating a fungus. I just am. I don't know why. Maybe it's my hang-up. Uh, I need to investigate the result. In the future, I plan on bringing in people to talk about their success to you. Uh, and fungus toenails is something we see a lot of, but we see more pain. And to me, pain is, the, is amazing because um, it's instantaneous, which we'll talk about. Next slide. The Remy is, uh, it's, it's across the board. It's, it's a laser that can go from low power to high power. It can go pulsing. You can read any type of uh, journal article and put in those protocols right now. There's almost no protocol you can you can put in it. It's multifunction. It's multi wavelength. Next slide, please. So you have a lot of future with it. There's there's therapy lasers and there's surgical. The Remy's both. With therapy lasers, it's all about. I want you to remember two words. P uh, P photo bio modulation therapy. And the second thing is ATPs. And that's really the bottom line. It's a photochemical uh, effect to stimulate the cells to produce mo- uh, a more ATPs. That's the part one what the Remy does. The second part is a surgical laser. Next slide. It can cut out a wart. It can treat warts without anest- with no anesthesia. I'll show you how to treat these things. And, and, and my, my goal is to go out and find the best protocols to always improve, but I'm getting tremendous positive feedback, not only in pain, but the treatment of warts. And it's affordable. You don't have to spend, uh, you know, thousands of dollars for a separate machine. This I always put up here because the the peer review literature supports what I'm saying for pain. Me, pain is the most important thing uh, uh, to treat because it's almost instant relief. Next slide. That's important. If a patient comes in, and they're treated, uh, you know, with a plantar fasciitis or Achilles tendonitis, and they walk out with no pain. Uh, right off the bat, they, they you've given them a sample and a demonstration 
of what um, uh, of what they're going to expect. I tell patients and I, and I teach doctors after they're out of pain and you show them there's two parts of this, Mrs. Jones. One is we got rid of your pain, but you need a, a, an average of six streams to heal it. We've got rid of the pain, but we need to heal it. Um, there's so it's biostimulation, ATP production. Um, next slide. It's been proven. This has been for a lot of time. Again, ATPs, I mean, it's, and it, this is a known fact, the, the light goes into the mitochondria, which stimulates uh, the chromophore, well, the chromophore is absorbed into the mitochondria, and you get more ATPs, which is a whole cascade of events. Next slide. I'll pick this up a little bit. Wound, wound healing is amazing. I just want you to do one thing. I mean, I can say it's scar reduction, improve vascular, it does all this, but I want, there's a study out there that was given to me many years ago it's called Kent State uh, Podiatry, but it's OCPM, where uh, they did a study on the, on the wavelengths that, I, that the REMI produces. Uh, I want you to just, email. I'd like you to read it. It's amazing with wound care, amazing with wound care. Next slide. This was done at least 10 years ago with two treatments. Look at the results of that. Next slide. And this is just not one case study. Uh, we can we can move on with this. You can read this. This is recorded, so you're going to get uh, a copy of this. Now, why is the Remy different? The Remy is different because next slide. The the Remy you need a you need the proper power density. And I always give the analogy when you're treating an infection, uh, you have to have the right route, and you have to have. I'm talking about like an osteomyelitis or septic. That's a little different. But let's say an osteomyelitis, you, you have to get the proper dosage and, and the proper amount of energy, or it's not going to be effective. The same thing with uh, an antibiotic. You need the right, you first of all, you have the right antibiotic, which, uh, you know, would be the right wavelengths. I'm trying to give you an analogy. The second thing would be that you need enough energy to get the, 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 the cells to start to function better. It's sort of like it's sort of like jumps. Next slide. Sort of like jumping, uh, jump starting a battery. Nine eighty versus eight ten. The Remy does both. We, uh, this is my favorite laser uh, because you you've got the nine eighty, which does biostimulate, which helps to heal, but it has a high analgesic effect. The eight ten, or, or and one thing about wavelengths is it's not eight ten. There's a it's a, it's a therapeutic window. Uh, it, it could be 20 degree, it could be 20 plus or 20 minus. Uh, laser wavelengths are not like, they're not, they're not just straightforward. They spread out. But the 810 is known and been proven across the board to give you the best biostimulation. I've combined them both. And I learned that many, many years ago. So I've added it. It's too expensive to add it now, but now that I'm a manufacturer and designer, I've made it very cost effective for you as a podiatrist. Next slide. And the quality's there. This was a research we did where we're actually getting better results. And I've heard this many, many times. I don't know if we're going to be able to prove it with a double blind randomized placebo controlled study, but I'm having podiatrists telling me that the dual wavelength 9A and 810 is getting much better results for fungus. Again, I'm not a big fan of fungus, but I'm trying to give you the best results possible. We're doing micro drilling with it. We're working on products where a lot of people think it's next slide. They think it's the biofilm. Uh, I'm doing studies with podiatrists at all times. The sponge theory is you need to get enough energy at the surface in order to get the proper um, uh, power density. So if you don't have enough energy at the skin surface, you're sure as hell not going to get it deeper down. So you have to start with a high powered class for a laser. Now there's other opinions on that theory. And if there are, you could set the Remy to the proper, the power levels you uh, want to use. I'm very experienced and have a, uh, a long track record with class four high powered lasers. I like them, but I'm not saying low power uh, is the end of the world. Some people have differences of opinion, but you can do across the board. Low powered lasers, cannot do high power densities. The Remy can do both and in between. So you have a lot of uh, vacillation. I prefer, next slide, I prefer you to use my, um, my protocols because I know they work and they've been done for years. Uh, this is a study, how much is enough? Uh, about six, uh, six joules per centimeter square, which shows you need a lot of energy because a lot of it dissipates. You know, we're not dealing uh, 
you know, we're dealing with you get a deflection, reflection, absorption, different wavelengths and, and, and different dense, uh, densities of tissue. So the Remy can give you enough power. I'd say the majority, I just did a, a friend of mine a shoulder today, uh, you know, um, and he came in. There's another reason why he came in. Uh, I had to pay him for some work he did in the house, but he told me his shoulder hurt him. So he came to get me. But anyway, um, he walked out with no pain. He had a supraspinatic uh, tendinosis, tendinitis. And, uh, you know, it took me 15 minutes because I, I you got to get the proper diagnosis. I'm not a shoulder expert. I told him that. But I was able to eliminate certain areas just by treating them. And I, when he walked out, his range of motion was a thousand times better. A thousand times better. Next slide. Okay, other factors uh, that affect uh, laser penetration, you have to, again, I'm going back to power density. You have to get the right dosage and the right dosage over time and area. And that's what the Remy does. That's why it works. Next slide. So why do, again, you know, the, the reverse, under penetration and under dosage is why lasers don't work. Many, many years ago, and they learned this through the studies that at one time, many years ago, oh, lasers don't work. Well, it's like oral antibiotics don't work if you don't give the proper dosage. It's the same principle. So you must have the proper power density. But the important thing is you must have the proper diagnosis. The second thing, next slide, the second thing is you have to have the proper dosis, both dosage and power. So the higher the power of the outlet of the laser, the greater the penetration. One thing that's interesting about the, about the, the Remy is that the hand pieces, because we have a, a, a mixing of wavelengths, it's not like, it's not that hot at all. They feel warmth, warmth is good to feel. The patient knows they just feel good and relaxed. But the fact, you can take our hand, our hand pieces are only eight ounces. You can push them right down to where the plantar fascia uh, inserts into the medial tubercle of the calcaneus, right down there. So penetration is not a problem anymore with, with the Remy hand pieces. Uh, we're always advancing and always improving. And that's one thing I want to do. I'm out there looking for the best. That's why I bought Chris tonight. I want to go out and bring in the best of the best and offer it to you. So it's, the Remy is important, but there's, it's, there's a lot of factors in making you successful. Again, you have to have an effective technology, but you have to be able to bring in patients. And I got to tell you the uh, next slide, which is real important. You are, I, I am marketing the Remy with every patient that walks in, if you can get pain relief immediately with them, and you should, and I'll teach you how to do that, they're gonna go out and tell everybody. Fungus, again, it, it does work, uh, but it takes a lot of time. Fortunately, this is not just a fungus laser. Um, you know, the other day, real quickly, I had a, a woman tell me, and I'm gonna investigate, she had a, a futana laser, she spent thousand, over 50,000, and she said, hey, it works great. And, you know, my first defense is, how can it work great? But I learned something. I said, well, maybe I need to revisit this. Uh, you know, maybe I just don't like fungus, and therefore I'm not listening to the, to the people of the Remy that it works great. Uh, and this particular woman used no topicals. I'm going to go visit her. I mean, she's used it. She charges a 1000 You know how I said why I believe that it worked with, with her is that she charges a $1,000 a case, and she's still in business. She's been doing it for years. The problem is – the maintenance of the laser, uh, and we have the same wavelengths. The maintenance of the laser, uh, the repair, you can't, get, you can't move it around. The Remy is only four pounds. Next slide. It's important. You need a portable laser that can move around, and it has the best technology. Uh, PT, is, so these are just areas that I'm, that I'm talking about. With, with the PT, you know, everybody sends everybody out to PT. I'm not saying that you should keep everybody, but if somebody has a sprain, strain, maybe you can keep these, and you're benefit, benefiting the patient because it's much more cost effective to bring, keep your PT patients in your practice. You'll win. The, you always got to look, the patient has to win first, and then you win. Uh, Laser therapy is comfortable uh, and it feels good. Physical therapy, um, I don't claim to be a physical therapist, but I think that uh, it's something, keep your mind open and, and with other, if you keep your, other, your mind open, next slide, to treatments and indications for treatment like physical therapy um, and not just automatically send it out, you may be helping your patients. Give them that option. So what do you look for when you're purchasing a class four laser? Again, power. The Remy, both wavelengths are 15 watts, and you can mix them together. It's got to do, 
continuous way, uh, I believe, strongly. That's when you're running laser continuously. The Remy can do it all day long. It has very high. It's a 30 watt laser. So you want to you want to buy a, a very powerful laser that will last for five years. That's very very important. Next slide. Laser, very quickly, lasers and micro drilling. Uh, we've added micro drilling. Uh, it's been very effective. Uh, next slide. Uh, where uh, the F, the the Remy is FDA cleared for onychomycosis. I've added more wavelengths to try to make it more effective. Uh, you know, the, the micro drilling, you can do just micro drilling in the Remy or you can combine it. I like micro drilling. I think the whole idea of it to, to allow topicals to penetrate better uh, is, is a brilliant idea. Just by putting the little micro holes in there, you've actually dried out and changed the environment. Next slide. This is something interesting. I call it the fire break technique. It's where uh, you just put the hole, where after you, you can just put the holes around there because you've actually, now, one of the things when you're, treat, I don't know if you've ever seen this, you ever treat fungus, even with oral lamisil, uh, once, uh, after a couple months, it starts, it can start to regress. I saw that with lamisil. I'm not saying lamisil is a, is a bad um, uh, medication. It's just there's a high reoccurrence with fungus, no matter what you use. I think if you put the, the holes in there, you can reduce it because you're able to put topicals to, to, to create a, uh, you know, a barrier. Uh, much easier, or you, or, or you can add laser treatment to it. But that fire break is in, in California. When they want to stop a fire from moving forward, they burn down an area to, to get the barrier there. This is a barrier, and you can move it right next to the lunula. Very easy to do with the Remy and very inexpensive. Next slide. Again, we're talking about um, water uh, evaporating. Next slide. With, so you're talking about, uh, so it, you can use the Remy with one treatment on micro drilling. You can combine it. I will go into much greater detail when I train you on it, but it's very cost effective, very cost effective to do micro drilling now. I mean, the machines used to cost $12,000. I used to be, uh, you know, one of the distributors for it. I learned about the technology, but you have to make it more affordable to the doctor and you have to have multifunctional. Uh, again, the Remy does micro drilling. It does laser fungus. This is all FDA cleared and pain. My favorite's the pain. Next slide. Uh, again, we next slide here about the micro pouring. Now, this is uh, the Remy. It comes in. Uh, I, this is my favorite. The 30 watch. You can go four wavelengths. I prefer the two. They're more time tested. Uh, but we can do any combination that you want. And it's only four pounds. The hand piece, uh, it's all finger switch controlled. Uh, it's a very easy laser. If you hear the barking in the background, that's my uh, my dog, the Remy. Uh, it's named after my Yorkshire Terrier. It's only four pounds, and it's got a lot of uh, a lot of fight in it. Next slide. Uh, these are all indications. Whenever there's inflammation, it's amazing for arthritis. Uh, wherever there's inflammation, bursitis, neuromas, post-surgical. Uh, you can treat every post-surgical patient. You can treat their wounds to reduce scarring because it will reduce inflammation and swelling. Uh, we now have a micro-drilling uh, and surgical handpiece where the, the tips are disposable uh, at one time, and we still have it. You have a choice. We still have it where you just uh, you strip the wire and you move forward each time. But this is just – I like effectiveness, but I like convenience. You can go from surgery to fungus to pain – in less than 10 seconds without changing anything, any setup, just flip, you flip the, uh, the, the, the different hand pieces on the Remy. I believe I'm the only one that has that uh, uh, idea, but I like convenience and I want you to have convenience and quickness. Next slide. These are just some of the touch screens that, and, and the Remy. Uh, you can go, I have my own personal uh, uh, protocols that come with the, the Remy, but this is, uh, these are some of the touch screens we can go. They're all preset in there. They're all preset, but uh, you can go use the body size, the skin color. Again, I like CW. Next slide. And he started barking now. It's important we go back to my mission statement. How can I make the device, the Remy, affordable? I don't want to bark because I'm going to be I got to buy somebody else. And, uh, you know, you got to add on that, uh, you know, commission is a salesman. I've been, I've been a distributor before. Uh, now I am a manufacturer. And I, when I am a manufacturer, I have so much more control over innovation, 
service, all the, all the Remy service directly in the United States for the center uh, that um, you know I've worked with for years. I've worked with all these people for years. This is not new. I have long-standing relationships with these with these manufacturers, these service people. And one thing about the Remy is interesting is that um, if I, God forbid, if I were to die tomorrow, you can get it repaired anywhere. It's a it's a very standard laser. Uh, we have very little uh, next slide. Very little problems with repair of the laser. There's over 150 Remy's out there in podiatry right now, and uh, in the last two years. So um, you know, it's it stood the test of time. Has definitely stood the test of time. So um, you know, we're gonna have a, a Terry. What's the next slide for a second? Back and I gotta see what the next slide is for a second. Can you turn the next slide? Yeah, I want Sarah to, to talk about. Um, the uh, the marketing program and uh, one thing I would tell you is uh, two things that I'm offering tonight um, as a bonus for attending if if you purchase the Remy uh, in a very short period of time I don't know what the date is uh, but in a short period of time uh, we're gonna we're gonna give you an, an automatic the Remy comes from the manufacturer with a two year warranty I'm extending it for five years and that is coming out of my pocket that's how well I believe in the service. Sarah, who I've, I've been uh, very privileged to know, uh, Tento's marketing. These are, she's going to talk about some of the marketing tools that come with it. Uh, would you do that, please, Sarah? Absolutely. Really, anything that's medical-based, awareness and education is going to be the key in patient marketing. And so what my role is with David and, and the Remy Laser is an internal marketing toolkit. So it's a nice combination of templates for practice posters, brochures, advertising templates, which we can even change the sizing depending on where you want to run advertising, whether it be digital or print, postcard templates, which can also be used as simple handouts in the practice, appointment cards, as well as educational videos. And we even something that's not listed on uh, the bullets right here, but we also have verbiage for your website. We have landing pages that you can use for your website if um, if that's something that you need. I, I work well with webmasters and such. So really this is a nice templated kit for you so that it's very turnkey. Um, David has already kept the price of the laser down compared to competitors. But still, you want to see your ROI as soon as possible, and marketing is going to help that happen for you. Uh, that's Remy right here. <laughs> so um, anyone that wants to go to my website, this is my website. Uh, you can text me at any time. You can email me. If there's any specific uh, information you need about this or even your practice in general, I'm very happy to answer it for you. Uh, again, I hope you get the Remy because the Remy is here for you and uh, you'll do very well for it. Thank you very much. Hi there, my name's Bree Wright. I'm a registered nurse and certified foot care nurse. I practice here in Canada. I've been practicing for about 20 years now, much as I hate to admit that. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about um, just a brand new technology I was given the opportunity to learn about uh, last year. I flew to Germany uh, and visited the Neuburg uh, site and was introduced to Onifix. It's a nail correction system that helps treat involuted nails, um, obviously people who are uh, constantly prone to ingrown toenails. This is a very, very appropriate technology and it just works. It's absolutely changed my practice. And so I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the Onifix, give you a little bit of a teaser and welcome you to come and join our informational sessions. Um, about the theory behind Onifix. So what is Onifix? Onifix is, it's a nail correction system. It's not a brace. It's not something that we've typically seen or used. Um, it's a pain-free, non-surgical, non-invasive, evidence-based medical device that is suitable for even the most high-risk patients. And in fact, we launched in Canada last year and are just launching in the U.S. as we speak. Um, but in Canada, it is considered a class one medical device. And what that means is that it has been verified by Health Canada as a procedure that can be used to prevent and or treat a condition in a medical setting. So the involuted nail, we all know involuted nails cause pain, inflammation, and put our patients at risk for infection from ingrown toenails. 
What is the theory behind Onifix? It's really so very simple. I don't know how we haven't come up with this sooner, but really most nails grow straight at the matrix where the nail cells are created, um, but they tend to curl in the nail bed because the nail is sometimes just too wide for the nail bed. So to compensate for the lack of space, the nail curves following the path of least resistance around the nail bed. The Onifix is a small strip that we apply right at the base of the nail. And when it's hardened, it provides the support the nail needs to keep that straight shape as it continues to grow. So with the help of Onifix, the path of least, of resist the path of least resistance is no longer to curl around the nail, but rather to maintain that straight shape as it continues to grow out. This is why we place Onifix as proximally as possible. We don't touch the skin. Uh, the skin uh, has oils that can cause the bond to break, but we want the resin to be as close to the matrix to encourage straight growth. And then that Onifix strip actually stays on for the entire length of the nail as it grows out, providing that support the whole way. I have a small picture here. The, the dark blue strip that you see right at the base of the nail there, um, that shows you where we apply the Onifix and over time how the Onifix actually stays on the nail and helps the nail to physiologically grow out straighter rather than with the involution. There are no known allergies or contraindications to, um, to using Onifix uh, because it doesn't use torque or force to straighten the nail um, and it doesn't touch the nail bed. There's really nobody that we've come across that you can't use the product on. You can use it on a three month old baby. You can use it on a 99 year old man uh, with, with diabetes. Um, so this is the Onifix starter set. Uh, when you order the initial starter set, you get two boxes. Um, in the kit, this kit will actually treat 70 to 80 nails, and really that's a conservative number. Um, they are finding that the number of applications with experienced uh, technicians tends to be closer to 100 with the product they give you just in this initial set. You also receive in your starter set is the Onilux toolkit, and that comes with a spatula that you need for spreading the Onifix, an LED light to harden, and cannulas to apply the soft Onifix. And you can, once you've, once you've received your starter pack and you've used it, you don't need to purchase the entire starter kit again. What's really nice is that you can just get replacement pieces, which we will talk about. This is why I think this product is absolute gold. It allows us to provide a superior and safer product for our clients at a reasonable cost and still allows practitioners to earn a decent profit. It's just win, win, win all around. So here's a picture of the Onifix that's been applied. Uh, what's really interesting, um, when you put a distal strip for the Onifix, you're using that distal strip to correct a constant involution, an involution and a curvature that's been happening over some time. Another application that you can use Onifix for your patients, which is quite helpful, your more acute patients that are coming in with ingrown toenails, is you can apply a distal half strip. So these are for your patients that are coming in. Yes, they've got a long-term involution that needs to be corrected, but if somebody's coming in, they've got only got the involution, they've got that ingrown toenail um, just distally there, you can remove that ingrown toenail. And when you apply the Onifix distally, it actually lifts that nail slightly and allows that tissue underneath the distal edge of the toe, a little bit of space to not be so so tender. It's, it's, it's usually very proud, it's usually very red and sore. And most of my patients, when I apply that distal piece, um, they report almost immediate uh, pain, pain uh, relief. So that's really another application that we can use Onifix for. Again, keep in mind, the whole purpose of the Onifix is to fix the involution long-term, which is what that proximal strip is for. So the, some of the things that uh, you will get in your starter kit, you've got your Onifix primer. Um, this increases the bond of the composite on the nail by more than 50% by dehydrating the nail. You have your Onifix Soft. Onifix Soft is used for small, thin uh, children's nails, split nails. I actually have a lot of patients come in and it really helps with their, um, a lot of people get cracked thumbs. You don't necessarily need to apply the soft Onifix in a strip along the base. You can actually apply it over a crack or, or whatnot. And as long as that crack doesn't uh, begin right in the matrix, there's an actual um, defect in the nail. As long as the nail has just been chipped or cracked, you can fill it with the Onifix and it will grow out quite nicely.
The OniFix Hard is used quite frequently for the big nails, thick nails, strong deformations. It's more of a uh, more of a, a putty and you warm up that putty on the nail and then you place it in that strip that we saw in the pictures earlier and it, it it really works well that will stay on for the entire length of the nail people get confused about that sometimes they think that each time their patient comes back they need to trim that on fix off and put on another strip that's not the case at all you put the on fix on and you let it grow out now typically that strip will stay on it, it depends people say how long will it stay on really depends on the nail i mean if you are a young healthy person and uh, your nail grows quite quickly typically the on fix will fall off once it reaches about the distal third portion of the nail the nail is a little bit looser at that point and that's when the onifix tends to fall off and when you would put another strip on distally if or approximately if necessary if you have somebody say with a, a very thick hard nail that doesn't grow very quickly i've had them stay on over nine months at a time so it really depends on the nail that you're dealing with so there was a clinical study done on onifix and its results and i'm going to share some of those results with you today So the first slide here, you'll see the efficiency for practitioners. This just goes to show how quickly practitioners learn to use the product. Ultimately, it doesn't take more than five or six minutes once you're used to using the product to, um, to actually make, do the application. That makes it very easy to fit into your practice. Somebody comes in, they have an involution, you talk about the benefits of Onifix. Typically, I have a tray ready right there with the Onifix and you can put it on very quickly. This looks at the effectiveness with nail deformations. So this is a reverse chart that shows the most severe curvature at the beginning and by week six already a significant decline with optimal effectiveness at week 36. This talks about nail bed changes. So this question was looking at the physical nail deformity and subsequent aggravation of the nail bed from the curvature of the nail. And you'll notice we see a steady decline up until about week 36. So the effectiveness with nail detachment, onycholysis was detected in about 30% of the cases at the start of the study, and the application of the onifix assisted by providing a more stable structure for the nail, resulting in a less than 11% onycholysis at only six weeks and 0% at 42 weeks. The effectiveness with the of decreasing inflammation in the nail fold, you'll see at the start we're looking at a 14.6% inflammation, which has dropped to less than 1% after six weeks and 0% at 12 weeks. And effectiveness with pain, this is a big one. This one will change your practice. At the start of the study, we noticed about a 60% report of nail pain. And by week six, this is already down to a reported 1%. You will notice there was a slight rise from 12 to 18 weeks and it leveled off around 5%. And we think that likely this was uh, the cause of this is because as we got deeper into the study, it was only the people with the more severe involutions that remained. So the data changed slightly as we were dealing with a smaller pool of more acute issues. It's still interesting to note, though, that at 24 weeks, the reports of pain were 0% across the board. So what I would like to share with you regarding this, this is where I've seen the biggest change in my practice. Um, I've done about 125 uh, treatments with Onifix right now, and I tend to hear the same thing over and over again. And it's, it's just so exciting and it's so wonderful to see the difference that it's making for my patients. Um, they, these are patients that I typically see once a month because the involution is acute enough that it's just causing pressure for them. They like to come and, and, and have that uh, reduced with a black file and have everything cleared out so that there's not as much pressure. Um, just about across the board, when the Onifix is applied, uh, they're forgetting their appointments. So normally they're chomping at the bit to come and see me at that four week mark. And when they're being called to remind them of their appointment, they, they're, they're surprised. They're like, oh, was that already? I'm not even having any pain yet. So that's significant. But whereas a clinician, I really notice the difference is when they come to see me at the two month mark. Um, it is it is absolutely profound. Sometimes as practitioners, for those of you who've been practicing quite a while with regular patients, you know their feet better than you know their faces sometimes. And you get your black file in and the difference is significant at that two month mark. I've had patients, um, I had one patient cry when I, you know, she came to see me at the, at the two month mark. She couldn't believe I was done. She said, that's the first time I've had foot care done in 10 years and um, it wasn't sore at all. It didn't hurt. I've had many patients, I don't know about many of you, but during COVID, obviously we weren't able to do routine foot care. And 
when we finally resumed practice, I had so many patients say, thank goodness um, I had this Onifix put on because I don't think I would have made it the three months that you weren't able to provide a treatment for me if it hadn't been for that. It just would have been too painful. And this isn't one or two people saying it. This is across the board. And that's not to say that the Onifix fixes every involution. There are some people that will need a, a matrixectomy. But for those that it does, it is absolutely fantastic. The last question here was the effectiveness of the Onifix nail correction system overall. And again, it's a reverse study chart where the participants were asked to rate the effectiveness of their Onifix treatment. And it shows, of course, 0% effectiveness at the time of application uh, with a 55% report of improvement at six weeks, 60% at 12 weeks, 85% at 18 weeks, and 100% at 24 weeks. So that's quite significant. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures here from the, from the study. So this is an example of the Onifix hard. This is the Onifix Soft, and as I said, the Onifix Soft, it actually, Onifix Hard and Onifix Soft, they are the same product, they're just different consistencies. So it's quite difficult to actually apply a resin that you need to warm up without touching the skin on the small nails. And so Neuberg recognized this and they made it just a runnier consistency for those smaller nails. And so that comes out uh, more, like a, more like a glue almost, but it acts the same, you harden it the same, the procedure is the same. And, uh, and so this is an example of how the Onis, Onifix Soft works on the smaller toes. Really what we have, as I said at the beginning, it's brand new, it's effective, pain-free, trauma-free. It causes physiological correction. It doesn't have any torque or pulling. It's very versatile and combinable. You can, people ask all the time, can we wear nail polish with it? Absolutely, as long as it's not a shellac or gel that needs to be removed with, uh, with a burr. Um, Regular nail polish is absolutely fine. It's safe. As soon as you put it on, people can resume their daily life. You know, they can go swimming. They can do whatever as soon as it's on. Uh, there's no recovery time. It's economical and it's quite innovative. I'm so excited by all of the changes and the differences that Onifix has made in my practice. And I strongly encourage you, not only for your practice, but for the benefit of your patients, that you at least look into it. Um, if you're in the States right now and you're interested in looking into the training, you can contact David Zuckerman. Uh, he is a reputable podiatrist there, and he is absolutely loving the Onifix as well. So he actually is, uh, for, for the podiatrist, putting on free training that you can then look and see it goes much more in depth than what we've talked about today but you can decide for yourself you can be persuaded at that point that this is just an amazing product if you are in canada and wish to take the training you can contact me my email is on your screen and i'm happy to answer any questions that we can i hope you guys have a great day okay Ian, hey guys. Hi, Dr. Zuckerman. We're going to, uh, oh, you're unmuted, so you're good. Awesome. All right. So the recording went off well. I think uh, David, Dr. Zuckerman is here with us now, everybody, to um, answer some questions about both the Remy Class 4 laser as well as Onifix. Uh, Bree was unable to be with us this afternoon, but David, um, I mean, I don't know how many times we've seen that webinar. But <laughs> I feel like I could answer the questions at this point. <laughs> So we do have a couple questions that came in. So let me check those out. Um, Dr. Shapiro said, Dr. Zuckerman, great lecture. Thank you. So that's awesome. Uh, and let's check this out. So Dr. Dr. Shapiro, if you have a question, oh, I see that you've raised your hand. All right, I'm going to allow you to talk. There you go. Oh, he's still muted. Yep, there you go. Hi, Dr. Zuckerman. How are you? Hey, Craig. Good seeing you. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you never really got me uh, excited yet about this Onifix nail correction system. It, it sounds uh, great. What, what, is, what is that woman, Bree, in Canada charging for that? Okay, the, <clears throat> the, train, the starter kit and the training is, is a combination of $679, and that includes uh, follow-up, uh, direct one-on-one, uh, consultation with both of us at all times. Bree is 
more available than I am. Um, the interesting thing about it is, is you get between 80 and 90 um, treatments per starter kit with a um, return on investment of at least $6,000 per kit. And remember, David, your show special, if they right. purchase in the next couple of days, your show special, they get double. So they get the ingredients, the extra, an extra kit of hard, soft, and primer. Yeah. That's um, for the, the primer. I think it's the primer and what comes with that will supply that. But you get the UV light uh, with it. It's a turnkey kit. Um, but I got to tell you, the key, uh, the kit is, it's very reasonable, but the, the, the key is Brie Wright's follow-up because she's done over a hundred of these cases. She was one of the pioneers and trainers and we work together. Um, you'll love her. I'm telling you, she, you love her. In fact, we're doing a, with the purchase of the kit, not only you get to talk to her, but we're now making a live video of a patient where you'll get the recording of her going into details with it. But you still get to talk to her anytime you want. Is that helpful? All right. That's great. So again, I'm sorry, but how much does she charge is I guess what I was asking. Uh, the, the, the training goes with the kit. I understand that when she charged the patient. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's very, I'll tell you my recommendation. And we talk about each individual practice. That's where I come in. It's, um, <clears throat> it's anywhere from one to four strips over a few months. And it depends upon how many strips and the patient, there's a lot more uh, it's not just one strip. It's, you have to put multiple ones on. Plus, if you're dealing with a paranychia, you put a second strip on. It's, it's for acute and chronic. Um, yeah, but I, I'm saying to you that... I'll answer your question. I'm sorry. So I recommend 250 for the first nail and uh, additional 25 to 50 for the second one. Fine. I, I, I think the, the, the smarter move, um, uh, David, is the um, onycholysis and the, the nail pain. Meaning the, the biggest thing is that what you're not taking away from people to say, oh, if you have a paronychia, of course, I'm going to remove the ingrown toenail. But what right. if you can say after the paronychia, I, instead of having to do a matrix exomy, I, I have a procedure that might be able to stop this thing from coming back uh, as, an, as, a, as a, a, an add on on that one. That's where I'm going. And then on onycholysis, and how many patients do we have that are so unhappy that, that, that their nails not attached and concerned that that's pre uh, onychomycosis and, and imagine we can do something now to help them. The, 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 I, I'm, I'm only even thinking touching the surface on this, but I, I know we're in a, a webinar and there's lots of people on it, but please know, I think it's a fascinating product. I'm interested in learning more and I, I'm going to get down on the show special. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> You email me and I'll provide a link and we can ship within 48 hours um, for the product. But I'll tell you, here's my feeling. Podiatry only treats 62%. We're ingrown toenail specialists and we only treat 62% of all ingrown and onymycosis. I picture, why, does, why don't we have 100% like a dentist with a cavity? And my feeling is that we, uh, all you have to increase it one or two percent. You can have an ingrown toenail niche, just like a, a, a LASIK center. I'm Correct. You, Let's it, niche this thing. Let's get your, your marketing team with this and get your better boy, Chris, and, and, and take it to the next all. level. We do this already. It's all Thank set up. Thank you. That's why I'm listening to you and I need your help. I'm here. I've always been, since I met you as a resident, <laughs> uh, how many years ago? 25 years ago. Well, you're, we won't go there. <laughs> you're amazing. I still remember that day. You're, I love you, Craig. Yes, sir. It was good. I came, I, I came off the beach listening to your lecture. Wow. Get back on the beach. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Take Thanks, care. Sir, sure. We're going to move on to the next question. Yeah. Um, so somebody asked, can you mix the Onifix hard and soft to obtain an, a customized consistency? Uh, you don't need to do that, is my answer. The hard is used uh, for the hallux, and the soft is used for the lesser toenails. Uh, so you don't have to do that at all. This is a composite. It's just like when they're filling a cavity. It's a composite. And Bree made a good point out and explained it very well. You can get all these braces and bracing stuff, but this actually goes on the nail. You can put nail polish on it. And I just want to make one quick point is, the bathroom, the patient that does bathroom toe surgery on you, why don't they come to your practice? I personally believe it's because they're afraid of needles. This has no needles and no surgery. So think about that. The goal is to increase 
and give options so you get more patients and more services. That helps. Awesome. All right, so if anybody has a question, you can either type it into the Q&A or you can raise your hand using the little raise hand icon and um, then we'll unmute you so that you can ask live. Um, we'll give it a couple more minutes in case there's any questions. And while I'm monitoring those things, I just want to remind you to make sure you visit all of Dr. Zuckerman's booths. The Remy booth, he's a sponsor. The um, Onifix booth and the Excellent. ESWT booth. Each yeah. booth is giving away its own unique bingo prize. So make sure you check in. Check out all the resources and videos that David has put together because there are a bunch on there. Um, I'm going to remind you guys really quickly of David's show special. So obviously we just went through the Onifix show special. If you purchase your starter kit, you will get an additional free set of the Onifix hard, the Onifix soft, and the Onifix primer. And with the Remy, um, David, I'm pulling up your booth, even though I should know it like the back of my hand. <laughs> just to remind myself of the show special. Oh, your show special is with the purchase of the Remy, you will get an extended um, warranty, so five years total warranty, and then also additional hand piece at that four, an additional hand piece is a $450 value, and then the additional three years tacked on to the um, already standard two year, so a total of five year warranty at $1,200 $1, value. So um, that's a fantastic show special. For everybody for the Onifix and for the Remy, and then for the Excellence ESWT, there are free CME credits involved with the physician certification training. So make sure you check out the Excellence ESWT booth and click on David's chat page to send him a personal message. Obviously, you can all, always just email David at David Zuckerman DPM at gmail.com. Um, but make sure you just keep going through there. It's easy to miss some of these things on the booth and with all the resources because there's so much great content that if you go through to the, uh, the booth once, go have some lunch and come back to it again because um, there's a lot of content and there's a lot of useful information. And then there's obviously the discounts under the door prizes that you don't want to miss. I, I just want to say one thing. I'm like very, I really, every time I look at this expo, you guys put a lot of work into this. It's just amazing. I mean, you could be on the beach and, and <laughs> run it. While you're in a, I understand why, because of the, your dogs, I understand why you're in the hotel room. So, <laughs> that I understand. It I, was I just, so it, easy for us to put this together. It took zero work. Zero, yeah. It was well, zero. it looks like a lot of work. So sometimes it's, uh, my father once said to me, work with your brain and not your hands. But I got to tell you, you got, I give you, well, it's what it is. It's, uh, you know, Ann and Sarah rock. You really, you know, <laughs> I, lo I love this. I love this. You know, this is, it's fun. You know, we got to lighten up and have fun. I mean, that's right. It's, it's great. Drinks are on me next time we're in person. Hey, all right. I'll, you know, I'm going to take you up on that. For sure. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're done. Thank you. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't, oh, we've got another question. I think that just came in. Yep. I see it. Oh, oh it just says great job. Great so job. we'll take it. Awesome. We send this out to my list and all the lists. Yeah. Uh, when, so when this is being you. recorded right now. We're going to uh, download it. We're going to reprocess it. It will actually be uploaded to the expo site for the next couple of, well, until the end of the month, this webinar will be available. And then David, yeah, you and me will work together to get yeah. out to- uh, When you unwind, not, I'm not, you know, take your time. I'm not in a rush with this. Uh, 8 a.m. by tomorrow morning, please. Of, no. of course, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for a lot of things that you've done with the Academy. Oh. That's all I can say. Oh, thank <laughs> you. you know. All right. Thanks, all right. For guys. Thanks, Thanks, David. Guys. We appreciate, appreciate your support. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye.